in my uh, my Borg alcove, as it were. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tech It. Wow. I uh, finally got rid of my stupid fraps counter. <laughs> I had, somehow I unchecked hide overlay. But anyway, so here we are back in the vault. Uh, in the last episode, we, well, uh, two episodes ago, we took a look at the chainsaw, the uh, electric chainsaw from Industrial Craft, the dark matter axe and dark matter shears and pretty much that's what these top three rows came from and then the last episode we took a look at the industrial craft electric mining drill with a diamond bit upgrade uh, compared to the dark matter pickaxe and the dark matter hammer and probably dark matter shovel I guess if you think about it so throw all those into one and that's pretty much what these bottom three rows have been from now as you notice uh, an episode or two ago, I pretty much had a full Kleinstar. Uh, at least the Kleinstar Ein. If we take a look at the Kleinstars once again, Klein, there's several levels. The first four being German, the last two being American, I guess. Uh, Kleinstar Ein, Zwei, Dry, and Wir, which, if you're not familiar, uh, these are German numbers. Ein is one, Zwei is two, Dry is three, Wir is four. Uh, Sphere and Omega are just there. I guess you ran out of names. <coughs> so, I have a Kleinstar Ein. This is the first level. Uh, if you notice, the EMC values are different between mine and, and what's in non F items here. This is the EMC item cost of the Kleinstar itself, not what it can hold. So, the EMC value of a Kleinstar Ein is about 25,000, we'll say. As a rule of thumb, I've noticed that the capacity of the client star is I I want to say it's just double its value because if you remember when my client star I was fully charged it held 50,000 EMC which is a little over double actually it may be double exactly well maybe now maybe not but close to double so that's that's kind of the rule of thumb I've noticed with with the Omegas they will hold 52 million EMC and notice their value is 25 million so that's the rule of thumb I go that I've been going by is that it, it'll hold double double W double its value so right now we've got the client star I and it can only hold 50,000 and as you can see from these last two episodes of you know going away with the dark matter axe on the trees and the shears the uh, and the pick and the hammer and the shovel down in the caves that we were taking a look at uh, we've and just from flying around with the running gale, we've really uh, drained our client star. So I think it's time we upgrade. Now, in order to do that, you you basically just kind of follow a chain. The first client star, the Ein, is just diamond surrounded by Mobius fuel. Now, once you have four client star Eins, we can put them together to create the next level. So on so forth on and on <laughs> excuse me now an issue here is well well two things you can actually condense the client stars as long as the client star is not charged so what I'm gonna do is just drain my client star real quick and okay there you see the bar has gone away now it is a fresh unused virgin client star so it has no energy despite the EMC value there it's if the bar is gone has no energy stored in it so what we want to do now is get in our condenser here and if you notice we've already got 52,000 EMC in the condenser this should right away make th uh, an extra two so there we go and the collector will just go ahead and build up. So, doing nice. <laughs> and of course, we can speed up the process if we want to. Let's throw in diamond there. All right, now we have four client star ions. Just go in our crafting panel here. Upgrade to the Zwei. But I want to go a bit further. Now, the Zwei has a little over, let's see, one, 
two. I should make four there, yeah. Alright. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and upgrade again. Now we have a dry. Pretty simple. <laughs> Getting more and more expensive. And, okay, we don't have any more dark matter to play with. Now, if I put this in here, I throw that in there, it won't use it. So that is an issue. <laughs> Uh, we don't, so that means, I think the reason why I won't eat it is because you can, I know in the tablet, in, in any case, let me just, well, let's just, let's create another couple of dries. Whoa. No! Or is wise, sorry. Another <laughs> couple is wise. And we'll just put them together. Alright, so I got two dries. Um, but anyway, the reason why. Let me give it some energy. Okay. I bet if I go here and go to make a dark matter or something. Ah, it doesn't do it. I know in the tablet. I'll, I'll run over to the house real quick because I need to sleep. Oop, let me in. Sleep. In the tablet, if you put a Klein Star on the left side like you would your offering, it will use the EMC of the Klein Star to make, you know, whatever you need. Uh, I'll make get some glowstone. It also it has no lock, so it's you're not restricted to your normal fuel or matter, you know, bit there. So we can can copy an energy collector. <laughs> so that's that's that. I I kinda thought for some reason it worked that same way in the condenser. Oh, also, while we're on the subject of Klein Stars in the tablet, if you put your Klein Star on the left and you add items to the fire, it will add the EMC to the client star. So that's another an alternative to charging your client star. If you don't quite have collectors and, and relays, uh, then you can do it that way. You can also charge the client star in a collector. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I don't feel it's as efficient as just doing it this way. Uh, let me drain that again. There we go. Let's go ahead and make two more dries. That'll get us up to a veer. Uh, let's grab a stack of diamonds. <laughs> Boom. Oh gosh. Okay, let's grab another stack of diamonds. There we go. Alright, now we got four dries. And, wait, what is this? I have five dries? How did I do that? Oh, because of the one. Stupid. Okay. So now we're up to a veer. Ha ha ha. Which, again, rule of thumb, it uh, it can contain double what its value is. So its value is 1.5 million. This could hold probably 3 million, I'm going to say. So, which we don't really even have 3 million worth of stuff to give it. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's uh okay, let's let's just see how far we can get. Maybe we can get to a sphere. Cuz that would be cool. Uh what are we up to? A veer? Yeah, we're up to a veer. Let's see if we can get to a sphere. That'd be cool. Yeah. God, can use all our diamonds trying to get up that far. Uh, yeah, we have one tungsten. We have. See, we're. This is why we went mining. Because we were running low. Okay. 
Come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. That torch there randomly. Could do the pearls, but I actually need those. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay, that's. We've got three. I'd really like to get a fourth one. Uh, let's look at our red power stuff. Now that we've got into dark matter, we don't really need these gems anymore. So let's throw them away. Should be just enough. Oh, slightly short. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> no emeralds. Boom. There we go. Okay. Four dries once again. And all right, we got two. We got two veers. So let's get some. <laughs> now we need to charge one. By golly. Uh, let's go ahead and put the veer in the important chest there. And what should we do now? Need to charge McLean Star. Just add those. Um, all those cacti. Crystal chests are worth a lot. Holy crap. Uh, we got on us. Pretty much used our high rolling stuff. <laughs> so, but you get the idea. That's uh, pretty much how you'd go about upgrading your client star, charging it, uh, adding stuff to here just to just to add to the charge. Let's get these off of me before I accidentally <laughs> use them. Uh, so, while that's cooking, let's come outside, take a look around. Ah, I knew it was going to happen. I've noticed the Rending Gale kind of holds a little bit of a charge when you don't have a client star, but then quickly fades. The Oasis is gone. Looks like I accidentally left a little bit of leaf block, so I'll have to do something about that later. Volcano there, which I'll be using that as an example for something uh, later on. Uh, Railcraft. Might get into that. Some out there stuff, means. Some out there stuff. <laughs> I can't fly. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and bring this episode to a close. We've gone uh, just probably a little short episode about Klein Stars. Just, uh, you know, trying to move on up. Just uh, in closing, let me just let you know that uh, I know I mentioned this on a world tour, but in case you don't, in case you don't watch those, the spheres is kind of where you want to stop in terms of condensing because I mean as you as you saw I condensed you know an iron is why a dry and and I can condense a veer as well uh, that's you know if you want to craft them all manually I mean you can I've done that before it's not that hard so you can it's it's tedious and long but I mean you can craft it manually but if you want to condense like I was doing, the sphere is where you want to stop on condensing because I mean look at its look at its cost. Over six million EMC. For one thing, even with a full Mark III uh collector relay setup, it's gonna take a while to copy on its own unless you add stuff to it. And even then, still six million? I mean the most you're adding is gonna be tungsten. Uh, or, you know, if you want to add dark matter and red matter to it. But still, that's, I mean, even red matter itself is only a little over 400,000 EMC. I think 400,000 is about right. So, I mean, shoot. <laughs> that's nuts. Of course, slide over to the Omega. 25 million in its value. Now, that is a problem in terms of condensing because the condenser this bar here has a limit 
of 9,999,999. I've tried copying these omegas before, and once it gets to that limit, once it gets to 10 million, it stops. The bar no longer goes up, it no longer, the relays even stop passing energy to the condenser. The relays start to just charge because it's got nowhere to pass that energy to because essentially the condenser is full. So what you want to do is just get up to a sphere and then just copy spheres. You know, if you if you want to make a new collector relay setup dedicated to spheres, I highly recommend that to uh, just condense your spheres and then craft them to the Omega because the Omega only takes four spheres. I would also recommend setting up a separate collector relay system just for charging because like I said before if you have a uh, condenser here and it's making something the relay it won't charge your client star it'll just pass the energy on to the condenser so the reason why I can do this here is because I've removed the item from the condenser so it's no longer passing energy it's actually using it and the reason why I just did what you just saw me do is because each relay is you know building up a charge and the charge reservoir will charge a client star quicker than just air <laughs> so so that's something to think about there uh, finally the reason kind of the reason why you even want to do this because you might be thinking oh, I'll never use that much EMC you're probably right I mean I, I'd probably say if you've got a dry you're probably safe uh, Zwei is still a little too small but the dry, you're, you're probably good for some intense mining uh, and flying around. The veer, even better. Sphere's a little <laughs> overkill. And definitely an Omega's overkill. But the Omega is used in crafting recipes. Uh, a long time ago, many episodes ago, I stumbled upon... I think I was just searching for alchemical. When I was talking about the alchemical chests and the alchemical bags... There's this alchemical tome. And I asked in that episode, I don't remember what episode number it was, it's been that long. I asked in that episode, what does this tome do, especially to warrant two fully charged omegas? Fully charged. Fully charged. Client Star Omegas. And uh, someone, I don't remember his name now, replied to the comments saying that the alchemical tome it allows the transmutation tablet to know all recipes because currently you have to it has to learn something before it can give it to you you know you have to give it before you can get it basically you if you have an alchemical tome throw it into the fire you've learned everything everything into the tablet now for server owners that's a dangerous thing in itself because if you have things turned off like as an example I recently redid my Tekkit server, my private Tekkit server, and we turned off collectors, energy collectors, as well as the black hole band and uh, a couple other things like Nova Catalysts and, and Nova Cataclysms, uh, things that we haven't even gotten to on this Let's Play. Uh, I turned I turned those things off, but if it, it basically only disables the crafting of it. The item still exists, you can still spawn it in, and you can still transmute it. So if you use a tome, if, if your transmutation tablet is on in the server, in the config, and you can craft a tablet, and you, and you get to the tome, and you use the tome, then you will have access to those things that you've turned off. So just keep that in mind, server owners. Uh, <laughs> geez. See, this is it's taking a while to get this charged. But anyway, that's, that's pretty much client stars for you. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring this episode to a close. Next time on Tekkit, uh, what should we do? We've kind of covered, uh, we're kind of covering a little bit of specific things here. Uh, that volcano's been staring at me for a while. I think next time on Tekkit, I'll show you what you can do if, you, uh, if you've got a volcano near your starting area give you some easy access to an early power source. Some oil over there. We'll get to that oil. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you next time.